This is Super Yacht News with Lee Sisman. This is Motor Yacht Del Bar, the most voluminous super yacht in the world. At 156 meters in length and almost 16,000 gross tons, she is by far the largest super yacht afloat. Yes, Azam is 180 meters, but she has 3,000 gross tons less than Dilba. So why are we talking about Dilba? Because a press release from the company building the largest super yacht in the world at 222 meters have shown some interior concepts from some of the biggest names in design in the super yacht industry. The private residence yacht is being billed as the largest super yacht in the world, dwarfing lengthwise even the current largest super yacht by volume, Dilbar. At 156 meters, she will be 66 meters longer than Dilbar and even 42 meters longer than Assam, the longest super yacht currently by length. As far as I know, the volume of the 222 meter super yacht, which will be called Somnio, is yet unknown. She is billed as a private residence super yacht, which is not really a thing, not yet anyway. The vessel will be registered as a passenger vessel, as she will have a guest capacity of at least 78 guests, based on 39 apartments. However, those apartments will most likely be as much as five to six bedroom affairs. As you know, anything that carries more than 36 guests is classed as a passenger vessel. Below 36, it can come under the passenger yacht code, which does not apply to this vessel. If you compare this to the only current ship of this type named the World, she has a capacity of 165 units on board, ranging from studio apartments to full-size multi-bedroom apartments. The world is 169 meters in length, 34,000 gross tons, and Somnio will be 26 meters longer and will have only 39 apartments, making this vessel much more exclusive. So the cost to build this vessel is rumored at half a billion dollars. Yes, $500 million to build. And the launch date is currently in 2024. She's been built by Vard in Norway, which is part of the Italian shipbuilders Fincantieri, which is based in La Spezia in Italy. Vard is also currently finishing construction of Rev Ocean, the near 200 meter research vessel. So, Super Yacht Somnio will be only the second vessel of this type, passenger residence vessel, although in the guise of a super yacht. It certainly looks like a super yacht. And the project is being overseen by the former captain of the residence ship, The World. He quoted recently as saying, owners will share a truly unique lifestyle at sea with a hand-picked crew and a never-ending global itinerary of carefully selected destinations and experiences befitting a yacht of this nature. Now, the, um, the vessel, like I said, it's in the guise of a super yacht, but um, it certainly will not be registered as a super yacht. Um, it's the closest thing you can come to a super yacht without actually buying your own super yacht, right? So 39 residences, on a vessel of 222 meters, that is a huge amount of space that those people will have. I'm really, I'll be really interested to see more details on it, like a, a GA or something like that. If I can get hold of a GA, that would be fantastic. We can go through it. Um, some of the, um, the some of the interior designs are from Winch Design. They are a very well known and respected design agency in the yachting industry. So I uh, look forward to seeing more about that. Uh, I'm sure as the, as the vessel progresses, uh, more details will become available. So stay tuned uh, to the channel for updates. Okay, so the next story is one that we've been tracking for a while now. Motor Yacht Luna, the 115 meter super yacht 
that was arrested for three years in Dubai is now free and has uh, transited the Suez Canal and has gone through the Mediterranean, refueled in Gibraltar, sailed up through the English Channel around to Germany. And she's now docked in Hamburg in Germany. So um, as I had guessed, Luna arrived in Hamburg, Germany and is awaiting a refit period. Sources very close to the vessel, let me say, have told me that she is indeed heading to Lursen for the refit work. She is cu she's currently docked at the Bloemen Voss Yard in some very tasty company, including the 142 meter Nord Lursen, delivered this year and most likely in for warranty work. Uh, Nord is currently sitting in a floating dry dock just next to where Luna is. And the mighty Delbar is also there in dry dock. If you're wondering why she's at Bloemen Voss Yard, well, Lursen acquired Bloemen Voss Shipyard in 2016. So if I say Lursen and it's in the Bloemen Voss Shipyard, it's still at Lursen. Bloemen Voss has a great history in shipbuilding, including vessels like Motiot Eclipse, Motiot A, and even going back to uh, the war and uh, the, the warship Bismarck, which is one of the most infamous German warships. So she has a very big history in shipbuilding. Uh, this picture that I'm showing you on screen right now is a picture of, uh, of the Bismarck leaving the Lursen shipyard in Germany in 1940. All right, guys, so um, that's all I've got for now. Um, the, the footage of Luna arriving in Hamburg was sent in by uh, one of my subscribers who uh, wishes to remain anonymous, which is fine. Um, thank you very much for submitting that. If you have any more um, footage of Luna in the shipyard, be sure to get in touch uh, in all the usual ways. You can contact me through Instagram. You can find my email address on the about page on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to, to um, see any footage that you have. Yeah, and if you have a website or a YouTube channel or something, I will put that up on a credit when I show that footage. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch up with you next time. If you have any yachting news, please get in touch and subscribe for updates.